When you step back out there, you better understand you gotta have some goddamn nasty about you. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. If you don't, then you can't stay in here. The guys who are going out there are gonna be physical and nasty. Got me? Yes, sir. Let's get ready to go. A holiday-like atmosphere surrounds the city of Las Cruces as they prepare for a game like no other. Today marks the 50th anniversary of the number two high school football rivalry in the nation, Mayfield versus Las Cruces. Although the Bulldogs have clinched a district championship, there's still plenty on the line in a game of this caliber. Mayfield, however, is looking to rebound from a rocky start to the season. History is on their side as they have won 28 total rivalry games and they've always seemed to play their best football against the Dogs. The players aren't focused on past statistics, but rather on making a statement to the rest of the state that this is their time. Seniors gear up for their final game of the regular season and Coach Lopez reminds them what has gotten them to this point in the season. All the little things, 10,000 freaking jackknives. That's what you're about. That's the reason you're here today in this kind of a, an atmosphere, in this kind of an opportunity, because you've done all the little things. Tonight's an opportunity to go show on a big stage how well you can do the little things. Little things have earned the dogs an 8-1 record on the season, but they know tonight they will have to be at the top of their game to earn this win. Play for each other, but do the little things. That's all it takes. A bunch of little things strung together will win this game tonight. It's our time. You got me? Yes, sir. Make it happen, baby. Cruces starts off on defense and immediately makes their presence felt. The Kent State recruit Isaac Vance would tear through the defense of the next few plays. Mother Nature would force a 30-minute game stoppage early in the first quarter as lightning inches closer to the stadium. When you step back out there, you better understand you gotta have some goddamn nasty about you. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. If you don't, then you can't stay in here. The guys who are going out there are gonna be physical and nasty. Got me? Yes, sir. Let's get ready to go. Let's go, man. Both teams would eventually make their way back onto the field after the delay. Senior Jason Stamper would get caught up in the trenches on the last play of the game before stopping, sustaining a knee injury with his return questionable. Stamp's injury is something that unfortunately results, you know, in things like this. You get your adrenaline going, you get warmed up, you go out there, and then you get cold. You go back out, you get your adrenaline going, you get warmed up, and you get cold. So you got an hour and a half before this next <coughs> self clears, all right? An hour and a half. I love the work you put in. I love this group of seniors, and I, I, I love the leadership that we have. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you guys not getting this opportunity to finish this part of it. But by the same token, it doesn't detract anything from what we're doing and what we've done and what we're about to do. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I do this thing together, baby. All right? It's an exciting time of the year. I'm sorry for you guys, but by the same token, we flip it. We get ready for the next. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Get in here real tight, man. Let's go. 
seat, man. I wanted nothing more than that opportunity for all you guys. Make sense? Sure. All right, all right. That's not gonna go away. All right. There's nothing to track from what we're doing here, baby. All right. Let's get ready for the next. Here we go. Dogs on me. One, two, three. Dogs. Due to NMAA rules, both teams would need to reschedule and finish the game. You guys can't mentally get ready for a rebound game like this. They're saying that you need the energy that's necessary to go win a game like this. There's no way you can recover from what happened last night and go do what it takes today to go win a game. Are they right or wrong? Uh -huh. I'll get cheap, ain't it? Sure. The Las Cruces defense would carry over the momentum from the night before and put a stop to the Trojans' running game. The dog offense would quickly capitalize with big rushing games, ultimately leading to a Peyton Ball touchdown. Peyton Ball will tuck it, heads left, finds an alley, has the first down, and more! He's at the five! Touchdown, Bulldogs! 15-yard TD run. The Bulldogs score with 5.06 to play in the half, an 84-yard march. Mayfield would have the ball right before the half, but would not get far on the stingy defense. No way you could possibly recover for four quarters the next day following such an emotional roller coaster of what happened last night. It can't be done. You, there's no way. They have all the advantage. We might as well just get in our vehicles and leave. You guys with me? No. Sir. Go send that message in two freaking quarters that we can do anything we want to freaking do together for each other. You understand? Yes, sir. We've done all freaking here. Two more quarters in the regular season right here to run the damn table on this city. Two more quarters to send a message to everybody that's telling you what you can't do. We'll do whatever we want. Let's get up! Crucis would continue to do whatever it wanted against the Trojan defense, stringing together a 70-yard drive that would end with yet another rushing touchdown, putting them up 14. Off to Beltron going right behind Melendres, who throws a good block, 15 to the 10. Beltron to the 5, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. That's a 20-yard run for Beltron. The defense would continue to stop the Trojans in the tracks, coming up with a big fourth down stop giving the Bulldogs a chance to extend their lead. Baez motions into the backfield, takes a handoff, sweep to the right side, up the hash, 30-35, into the secondary to the 40s. Las Cruces would continue to carve up the Trojan defense with big plays from Brandon Baez, putting them in a prime position to go up three scores late in the game. Ball takes the handoff to Beltron, fires to Baez, catches it at the two, into the end zone, touchdown. Brandon Baeza, it's a 14-yard TD, and the Bulldogs lead it 20 to nothing. Mayfield was down 21 to zero, but would show some signs of life. It's flushed right. He's a lefty, looking upfield as he runs. He's going to run 45, 40, 35. Picks up a hand off to Isaac Vance, going right, bounces it outside, going to the corner, and he's going to get in for a touchdown. And Conaway will try an onside kick to the near sideline. It takes that crazy hop, and the Trojans come up with it. Were they inbounds? They were. It's Trojan ball. It would only take two plays for Trojan quarterback Lachlan to find receiver Swinson for the score and bring the game within a touchdown. Drops to pass. Has protection. Fires long for Swinson. He's open. He has it. Touchdown, Mayfield. It's a seven-point game, 326 to play in the game. Another onside kick attempt would be botched and recovered on a heads-up play by Kennedy Holloman, putting the dogs in Mayfield territory. The Trojan defense would step up and come up with a big interception, giving them one last possession to tie the game. Bulldog pass rush would prove to be too much late in the game, coming up with three consecutive sacks. The last coming from Jesus Villegas on a crucial fourth down to seal the deal. 
out of the shotgun. Lachlan catches it. Lachlan drops. Lachlan looks right. Now he's flushed, and he's going to be grabbed and sacked for the fourth time. And that'll do it. That's the last time they're going to have to snap it. Good effort by the Trojans, but the Bulldogs are going to win their ninth game of the year. It's the Bulldogs 21, the Trojans 14. You know, it always feels great. Any win feels great. This one always feels a little bit extra special. But, uh, you know, the first that these guys went through to get this win was uh, maybe, maybe even made it a little sweeter, you know. Uh, Easy there, buddy. Coming in hot. If we don't have adversity, it ain't built our football. Sometimes it's adversity dealt to us, and sometimes we deal it to our damn self. But either way, we always fight through it. And you guys have fought through it like champs, and that's exactly what you are. You're district champs, you ran through the city. All right? You're so close to your freaking goal, and now you focus on one play, one quarter, one game at a time. You understand? Yes, sir. Great job. I told y'all this city is going to be ours. Stay gentle on me, stay gentle on me. One, two, three. Stay gentle.